in a few minutes. David, thank you. From Atlanta to LA, streets and sidewalks are crowded with electric scooters. Hundreds of injuries have been reported and the CDC is involved. Soon scooters could be in Chattanooga. The Chattanooga City Council narrowly passed the measure on its first reading last night. Blitz segment spoke with people downtown to see if they're on board with scooters in Chattanooga. Some say it seems fun and convenient, but others say they're worried it can be dangerous. Chattanooga, cars and bikes could soon be sharing the streets with electric scooters. I think they'll be safer than bicycles, keep people up to pace, and they're really fun. UTC student Sarah Moore says she's eager to use the scooters because they'll give her legs a rest on her commute to class, but not everyone wants to hop on the new ride. They're everywhere. They're all over the roads. Nashville native Matthew Cooper says he likes the scooters because they're good for a quick and convenient commute, but... I have seen people almost get hit by cars and run over people, stuff like that. So they are hazardous, but they're definitely helpful. Watch this video out of Nashville. Vanderbilt University Medical Center ER doctors say they treat up to 15 patients with scooter-related injuries every week. That's one reason Councilman Ken Smith says he voted against the measure. It's a little harder to ride a bike and keep your balance if you're intoxicated, but it's a lot easier to stand on a scooter, hit the go button, and the next thing you know, you're doing 15 miles an hour through traffic. Wait. Chattanooga is a city like none other, and I think we need to start reinventing ourselves and making ourselves uh, ready for the centuries to come. So I just say, hey, let's give it a try. Councilman Anthony Bird supports the scooters, but says the city is only taking them for a test drive. While the city's contract with Lime Electric Scooters would last a year, Bird says they can pull them off the streets at any time if problems persist. The Chattanooga City Council will vote on the scooter measures a second time next week. If it passes, Councilman Burge says 150 to 200 scooters will be available to use by this June. Meantime, the city of Austin, Texas, has asked the CDC to investigate scooter safety after there were more than 160 scooter-related injuries in that city 